Hey folks, this is a quick demo of Signals and the features and capabilities we have. So broadly with Signals we focus on key three areas, one having all the metric stretches and logs in a single pin and being able to correlate with each other. Second, we are native to open telemetry, so all our talks and default installation methods are in open telemetry. Also you'll see lots of features which are leveraging open telemetry data format which we use to make the experience of our users using open telemetry much better and third we are based on clickhouse which is a modern column data store it's much more powerful in terms of analytics and aggregation capabilities and that's where uh, you'll see a lot of performance improvements and good performance from signals so now taking to the product, so as you can see, we have different modules. So services is the API module, traces is where you can dive deeper into distributed tracing. Logs is where you can see your logs and um, analyze and visualize that. You can create dashboards. We have created a new features around messaging queues, and then you can have alerts and then integrations. And then we also have if you're using open telemetry, you can get exceptions data from there and then send to us. So, so yeah, uh, once you send application data from signals, from open telemetry to signals, you'll start seeing dashboards like this out of the box. Uh, you have multiple applications, what's the P99 latencies, error rate, operations per second. If you are using different environments like dev and prod, you can filter based on that and also filter based on other resource attributes which you send to us. And once you want to dive deeper into an application, you can see basic metrics like P99 latencies, uh, operations per second, key operations. If you are using AppDesk as a metric, you can see that also out of the box and then error percentage. If your application is using any uh, databases internally, then you can see the database calls, RPS, what's the average duration, etc. And we've also extracted out if your application is making any third party API calls uh, in the external metric traps so that you can see what's the latency experienced by them, if there are any uh, issues around errors, etc. coming there. So generally we have seen DBs and external metrics to be cause of increased latency in application. That's why we have extracted that out. Now, if you want to dive deeper into it, you can go from like you want to uh, evaluate why this latency is high. You can just right click at it, go to view traces, and then this will list you all the traces which you, which uh, may be causing that problem. And then you can filter based on multiple things. You can filter based on duration. Uh, suppose you filter for a particular duration and you only want to see error tracks, uh, error traces, and then you can see more details on the trace, right? So this gives you complete view of like what, what are the traces and how are they showing up and helps you debug issues faster. If you want to go back, you can do a bunch of filtering here so you can Go from here, see time series view, and then create dashboards from here. You can also create table views here. So all of this comes out of the box. We also have a pretty powerful query builder where you can do different type of queries and then visualize exactly the data which you want. So that's broadly about uh, services. Uh, distributed tracing, I think we already touched upon. You can see all the different traces which you have. Uh, if you just want to show the root, see the root span, you can see that here. You can see a list of all the possible traces going up here. And you can create uh, dashboards directly from here for these things, or you can also create alerts here, right? So you can also create alerts. And then uh, coming to logs, you can essentially send different type of logs here. You can do a different type of filtering. For example, if you want to filter by a particular service name, you can do that. 
and this will start sending you data only for that service you can see the json format and if you're also sending uh, metrics of the related like if one of the logs are coming from a particular infra component and you also have infra components metrics here then you'll be able to show that here we also have pipelines where you can create new pipelines and then extract different views from there so for example if you want to filter out uh, pipelines by a particular service so you can just go service name and then this will show all the pipelines which will filtered by this and then you can add different processors here like log processor etc json parser which you can help you get data from different sources and different type of logs and extract attributes from there so that it can help you filter attributes etc so if you have not structured your logs properly at the time of ingestion you can uh, do that after that also and then you can create different types of saved filters where you can save these filters and then use these filters later for like filtering for a particular type of attribute I think the other interesting thing is because we have all the different signals in one place you can go from uh, a particular application go from their traces and then also be able to see related logs for there so basically we are filtering based on the trace id which you have injected from the application and see all the logs which are emitted while execution of the trace so this is a good idea on getting more details around hey if a trace is getting executed what's the what the logs are being emitted and help may help you solve issues much faster and then we have like you can create dashboards using signals um, and like this can be like for any we support different type of panel like taxes panels value panels a bunch of different type of panels and then you can create these panels for different type of signals like logs metrics and traces you can also write advanced click house queries for that and then we also support from ql4 metrics uh, if you want to create panel dashboards based on that for alerts you can also create different types of alerts based on logs traces metrics and then you can get an overview of like a particular alert and also get a history of when that alert was firing or not firing and then you can create something like a plan downtime if if you think an alert is having a downtime etc and then if expected downtime you can set it up so that your alerts don't get fired or when you know that there is some downtime which is about to come so so yeah you can then set up multiple type of uh, channels here so we support bunch of channels around slack a book pager duty etc so you can support that and then you can also control cost by uh setting different ingestion key for different teams or different regions and also set a specific uh, expiry time so that you can um, be more secure on like who is using your uh, ingestion key and if you face any issues around security you can just change and rotate the ingestion key so yeah those are the main features which you have also because we are based on open telemetry so if you send us exceptions data along with the traces we can extract that out for you and then you can see that stack trace data from exceptions directly uh, here and because this is correlated with traces you can see this in context of a trace here so that gives you a very good idea on like hey like when this trace was executing this was the uh, exceptions which are getting uh, set up mm, yeah i think these are the um, main feature and then you have a bunch of integrations around like redis postgres and the next a uh, bunch of aws services you can go here and just follow the instructions here and then it will start sending data to you we also have a uh, like bunch of repositories on dashboards or repository of dashboards which you can use to just get out of the box dashboards here so if you just go to signals and dashboards repo uh, we have a bunch of 
dashboards you can just import so things like apache web server uh, apm cos tv jvm metrics host metrics uh, if you are monitoring lms rabbit mq etc so a bunch of dashboards also which you can import uh, directly from the application so the way to do it is just to go import this and uh, view templates and this will take you here and then you can just copy a particular json uh, let's say you copy the json from here and then you can just import json here type it here and if you import it next uh, dashboard will be created out, out of the box so so yeah uh, that's worthy the bunch of features you can also get started by like following the onboarding guide here so which help you uh, onboard we also have uh, features in beta which will help you monitor your messaging queues currently we have kafka here and then we also have a service map feature which will help you get idea of how your services are interconnected with each other and how they are uh, communicating if a service is under stress it becomes red or yellow depending upon like the error rates and the p90 latency they are seeing so yes this is a broad overview of signals and then if you are looking specifically for integrations there are like bunch of integrations we have out of the box so can go to AWS monitoring, Azure monitoring, GCP monitoring, so lots of docs on how you can integrate with all these services. Yeah, uh, thanks a lot.